<laughs> hey YouTube, uh, got interrupted there. Uh, so basically, like I was saying, when I, my last video, we pulled the heads. Um, I went ahead and uh, pulled the rocker assembly off, left the rods in there, and I pretty much got a cardboard the same size as the head, and then I just laid it out on there. And then once I pulled the the actual push rods as well, I would just line it up and zip tie it to the cardboard at each one, and then I would do the bottom rocker. Um, with these hemis though, it is gonna be a shorter push rod on the top and a longer one on the bottom if you guys mix them up. Uh, all data says do not do not if you're not putting new ones and this and that to remember what hole it came out of exactly so you could put it in so you don't have any problems with valve lashing um this is what i meant by the cardboard i kind of put my rock my rocker here zip tie my rocker and then each push rod that came out i would put them here and i would label uh you know bottom side on uh, closest to the rocker is going to be the motor and then the outside is going to be towards the actual rocker itself and i just zip tied them all to it uh pop some holes pre-make some holes and just zip tie them in there like that uh, especially if you have a lot of projects going on to where you don't you know you're not going to just be able to take it off set it aside and put it right back on um that's what i would do uh but i left the exhaust heads on i just did those exhaust uh, manifold gasket on it so i didn't pull that off i just unbolted the two bolts there and pulled it off uh, it was pretty that simple um there was some wiring back there to get the intake manifold off that was a little tricky the map sensor and then the msd um flex fuel thing whatever variable valving or whatever it's called I don't know. but uh yeah so pretty much i used a wire well um i didn't use the drill because of doesn't spin fast enough to give it that nice polished look uh this was um a harbor freight uh set i think it came in a set of all these different types that hook up to this um and it even had some ones that had like shanks on it to put in drills i think it was like 10 bucks Man, I've used that on almost all the heads I've done, and it polishes them badass. Uh, before I even put the wire, that wire brush to it, I use this scraper here, and I drag it. I don't cut into it, I drag it. And once I scrape it all off, then I hit it with that wire wheel, and then I'll hit it with some scotch bright, and then I clean it all up with that cleaner. Um, it's called B12, I believe big can um i got mine at o'reilly's uh pretty much the stuff i use um at the very end i do hit it with some brake cleaner just to make sure it doesn't leave no residue and then i use on the block the same b12 but then when i'm done cleaning out uh the the actual block part of it i wipe it down with some brake cleaner um i didn't make a video on install really that well um pretty much if you guys have any questions on it or anything like that just comment like i said when i removed them i i did oops i did uh leave my exhaust manifold on i just did those some of you guys might have broken studs and that'd be a good time to go ahead and replace it um i went to dodge directly and it's called the uh upper engine gasket kit um it was a good about good 420 bucks uh and it's missing two of the gaskets that you need to complete this job so if you're doing it that way fyi make sure to grab those extra uh they're black rings that actually sit around the these here and this is for your positive crankcase ventilation and it's funny because on the other side there's a port just like it that's where your oil goes in <laughs> so pretty trippy um for the most part that's where i would say um these blow uh, bolts as well are torque to yield i would go ahead and replace those like most heads they're torque to yield they did not tell me at dodge that these needed to be replaced but i replaced them anyways um i think i spent like another close to another 300 bucks just on bolts 
um, but it's what it takes to get it done right. Let's do it right the first time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably see if I can get a gasket kit just for that water pump, because I'm already here. Might as well do the water pump. Um, I flush the radiator because if you guys watch my other videos, I had a, I didn't have an overheating problem. I didn't have uh, power problems. I simply had a, a P0128 code, uh, which indicated that the sensor here was talking to the air ambient temp sensor and they're doing their numbers. And for some reason they said, hey, we should not be at this temperature when we're at this point of the drive. So it, threw, it did a three test and on the third test it bing through the check engine light. I went ahead and uh, first thing on there says, oh, on the DTCs, check coolant level. Popped it, boom, right away, noticed it was brown murky. I said, hmm, it looked more orange. So I said, I bought the truck from a GM dealership. I said, maybe those knuckleheads just put some Dexy cool in it. And the minute I stuck my finger in it and did a, I already knew. I already knew it was oil. So I went ahead and did a flush, like my sensei said, just do it for the shits and giggles. I flushed it three times, people. And he says, now do a block test. I waited the next morning, started the truck, siphoned some antifreeze out, and waited for it to warm up to operating temp. Did my block test, and boom, in 40, like, I would say 30 seconds, 20 seconds, it popped back yellow right away. Um, and if you guys don't know what a block test is, it's when you have a turkey baster looking thing with some blue dye in it. That has a chemical reaction when it comes into um, basically engine gases. Uh, and it hit within like 20 seconds, like I said. So I went ahead and at that time, called around, priced the motor, priced the rebuild motor, priced on how much to rebuild this motor. And I just, for me, just purchasing the vehicle six months ago, I ended up going with this this route here. Um, but if for some reason this doesn't fix it or we have problems more down the road, I will end up uh, doing a build on this truck. I uh, would like to put the 6.2 in here. That'd be nice. Uh, it's a 1500, but, you know, let's see what we can do. <laughs> so I'll give you guys some more... Um, uh, videos on my channel here you guys subscribe like if not that's cool you want to talk shit post it in the comment box if you got questions post it in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible um yeah appreciate y'all watching with me and hope y'all like peace